Tigers. Today is October 11th, 2021, Tourist Day. I'm Stella McSween, your tour guide for the day. And I'm Angie Gonzalez, starting off the week with some very important Tiger news. And I'm Kalanir, serving some volleyball news for you. Here's the news and announcements you, you need, need to, to know. know. FNL is starting a new youth wellness advocate team starting October 25th. Meetings are twice a month from 6 to 7.30. Students will work collaboratively to plan events and fundraisers, host school-wide discussions on a variety of wellness topics, and advocate for positive change in their schools and communities. Events can include school-wide awareness galleries, wellness roundtables, photo voice projects, a middle school mentorship program, parent presentations, fundraisers to support prevention work in the community, and more. All projects are student-led, so members will be given the space and time to think creative, creatively and plan exciting events for their peers and community. Sign up for slowfnl.com or email Megan. The Slow Community Foundation has moved up the due date for the prestigious Wayrich Leadership Award. The scholarship application is due Monday, December 6th. Seniors, you should apply if you exemplify a leader and have community service experience. More information can be found on the Community Foundation website at appsmarterselect.com. Attention seniors, on Tuesday, October 19th at 6 p.m., clear your schedule to attend a virtual presentation with financial aid experts on how to best finance your college education. They will walk you and your parents through signing up for financial aid. That's Tuesday, October 19th at 6 p.m. You must register in advance to receive the Zoom link. To register, visit the Class of 2022 Google Classroom. The registration link is embedded in the Financial Aid Night Flyer. Tigers, here's your chance to vote for Homecoming Master of Ceremonies. The nominations have been narrowed down to 10 staff members. You may vote for only one to be the Homecoming Master of Ceremonies. Vote at slowhsvotingforschools.com. Now we have a special video from Mr. Miner regarding school safety. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Mr. Miner. I'm one of the assistant principals here at San Luis Obispo High School. And I'm here this morning to let you know that we are restarting our text-to-tip program. So you might have seen some of these posters around campus. And these posters have a phone number on them that will be at the bottom of the screen as well. Um, and this number is for you to text to communicate with myself, Ms. Dellinger, Ms. Mamo, and Mr. Dickinson regarding any concerns you have on campus. These concerns could be a concern about another student's safety or health, all the way to maybe something being damaged or unsafe on campus, letting us know so that we can address the concern and make sure that this is a safe and great campus for all of us. These requests or these reports are anonymous. Um, and are done through text messages. So I want to encourage you, please use this. Let us know if you see something, say something if you have a concern. This is all of our school and we want to make sure we take great care of it and take care of one another here in our Tiger family. Um, one big reminder, please use this responsibly. Um, we take this really seriously. We, res we respond to all of these uh, concerns which means that if you report anything falsely, we also will respond to that and we take that very seriously. So uh, we take those concerns and issues and address them. And so we also, there are consequences for students who choose to report inaccurately. So I wanna again draw your attention to these posters. There's a number at the bottom of the screen and I'm actually gonna ask all of you right now in class where you're sitting, get your phone out and put this number in your phone and save it as SLOHS text to tip and so you have it ready for you to use anytime that you need it. So right now you should have your phone out set putting this number in your phone so that you can text us if anything comes up. Again see something say something so we can keep this campus safe and so it's a fun and great place for us all to go to school. Thank you Tigers have a great day. Thanks Mr. Miner. Now let's go down to Cal with your Tiger Sports. What's poppin' Tigers? It's your boy Calanir with Tiger Sports. Today in Tiger Sports, we just have Varsity Girls Golf going to Dairy Creek to face Tascadero at three. Let's hope they do a terrific job. This Tuesday, October 12th, is our home girls volleyball game against our rivals mission. And we're raising funds and awareness for breast cancer, so make sure we wear pink. All those who donate will get a pink ribbon. Thank you for supporting this cause and our team. Now back to Stella and Angie with lunch and more. 
Great job, Cal. For today's lunch, we are having a chicken sandwich with a vegetable flatbread and a turkey BLT sub. Also, a local cheese and cracker box. For this day in U.S. history in 2002, Jimmy Carter, a former president who served four years in the position, won the Nobel Peace Prize. He was a man who strived for peace and human relations, and he helped establish peace relations between Israel and Egypt. Don't forget, today's Inktober prompt is sour. Tomorrow's Spirit Day is Twin Day. That's all for today, Tigers, and we'll see you tomorrow.